Alright everybody, welcome back to part 2 in MIDI port installation. So we proceed to the first step, we want to go ahead to the next step in order to install all the uh, required file for the MIDI board. So you get this screen, uh, you can see we need now to install the system. So we, you can translate this into English so we need to write permission and it's gonna ask you here about some of the basic uh, configuration for Linux but here we're using Windows so I'm just gonna click install alright so you got, you got a bunch of list here about the things that we need to be installed uh, like uh, Smarty, GB, G, GB Graph and so forth so we need all these to be installed you can install 1.1 one one, but I need to click install them all alright so after this after this step you can see here we got a message that installing MIDI board the external libraries needed so you can see here we just do chicken for all the required files alright so some of the uh, libraries are taken from github others from other links alright so now we can proceed to the next step configuration so now you will be asked to type uh, the root directory which is cdev midi port trunk the root url okay and also we have uh, the role of MIDI board like production or development qualification active HTTP redirect against shared memory and other session manager okay here we need to set up the database um, type of database is going to be MySQL the host name is localhost you need to um, define a database name so I'm using here Navi uh, I'm sorry Scala Management Studio cancel this just want to go to um, Navicat let's create a new database so good local host uh, let me just create a new database create here new database uh, let me say MIDI okay so we got a database called MIDI it's empty so here we need type database name which is MIDI root root is the main uh, the username for the database administrator so I'm gonna check validate the configuration okay validate again everything is fine we don't have any uh, alert message we we'll proceed to the next step okay this is gonna ask you to alright um, we need to create a user for um, for an administrator for this database and uh, basically uh, all you need is uh, a, a root okay let me create a new user for this database by going to manage users and add a new user let me say MIDI host is local host and password is MIDI MIDI it's gonna be the same thing uh, as a username okay 
so we just create a new username select all the permissions select all save so I added all the permission to this user alright so we get this pass uh, this database is just also need to add all the permissions to this user MIDI MIDI alright it's got get all the permissions so let me add a host name localhost MIDI wait a minute here's MIDI and here also just wanna do the same thing create the password alright you can translate so MIDI MIDI so click again you can see MIDI MIDI if you translate this message uh, create database MIDI cannot create database MIDI because the database already exist alright um, so you can uh, you can delete this database uh, if you go to table uh, to MIDI you can delete it delete database and the same thing MIDI MIDI alright so we proceed to the next step we just go back make sure alright say that already exists let me make sure that it's already exists if you go to tables to localhost refresh so we get database here see so it's already exist alright make sure ok again come here refresh the localhost server Okay, we got the database created. We proceed to the next step. We said finalization, and we got here uh, a message that error: the structure of the main database has not been built, so it's impossible to complete the installation. Return to the previous page and build the structure. So we need to build the structure from the previous page by by generating the code to create the user and databases so you need to click here so this is the code that's generate that generate uh, the data into the database or, the, or let me say the structure so if you refresh well let me say the structure go to tables select the database say new query type the query here so you, you gotta we gotta create a database uh, to the root to you know root, um, and we're gonna create a uh, grant access okay so it's already exist and uh, all right successful connection okay now uh, we can say um, install MIDI board step 6 of 9 construction of the main page this will create initial structure so if you come to MIDI board we should get some initial structure to the MIDI board and uh, we gotta notice please note that the main database already 
has a structure rebuild probably damage the data so make sure that uh, you don't you don't rebuild again if you want to recreate a structure it is necessary to clear the the database by PHP my admin or navigate or anything so let me just go to the completion uh, here you need to type uh, the password for the administrator so I'm just want to type um, MIDI uh, MIDI and confirm password uh, you should see that this is a five character password so I'm just want to say um, MIDI 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 1 and password is MIDI 1 create so we created we created the the password to the administrator which is MIDI 1 so admin and MIDI 1 is the password all right um, so we can go to PHP my info or get me to the module administration page which we're going to be able to log in so this is the main page for the MIDI board I can log in by type admin and password is MIDI 1 so MIDI 1 so here we are loading the page and we're going to go to uh, the main page for the MIDI board alright so this is pretty much uh, we uh, configure the system and right now we are in the MIDI board main page and this is gonna be awesome uh, so next video we're gonna t t go with you to the next step uh, which we're gonna talk about a little bit about MIDI board functionalities so thank you guys again for uh, being here with us and uh, in the next step here so next video we're gonna continue with the MIDI board Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.